believe I slept through my alarm! Those weird dreams won't leave me alone. I'm losing beauty sleep! Almost there! Ah! Ow! Hey, you alright? Guess that's a yes. Watch where you're going, okay? You could get hurt. Um, sorry. Huh? Wait, are you? Oh no! The morning assembly! An uncanny resemblance. Did she drop this? A student ID. First year, Niori Fuyusaka. <sighs> Might be worth looking into. class. I'm Kisaragi. Tell me, Kisaragi. Ah, uh, I'm Sawatari. And I'm Fuyusaka-san, right? I heard the teacher trying to call on you. Really? Oh, I didn't notice. <sighs> I've barely even started my high school life. And this is how I make a first impression? You too, Kisaragi-san. Call me Usami. Weird nickname, but I'm used to it. In that case, you can call me Iori. It's nice to be on a first name basis. I'm Miwako. Miwa-chan's my good friend. She's gentle, kind, loves talking about romance, even though she's shy with boys. Usami-chan sits at the desk in front of mine. She has red glasses, braids, and seems a bit weird, honestly. Huh? Your forehead is red. Well, she was sleeping on the desk. Oh, um, I kind of bumped into someone. Now the rest of your face is red. Huh? I wonder why. Well, uh... The guy I ran into is kind of cute, so... Jeez, I feel awkward just thinking about it. Sounds like love at first sight! Really? Definitely! It was a destined encounter! You two are meant to be! Um, you think so? Maybe. Shall we walk home together? I'd love to hear more about this boy you met. Um, you're welcome to join us, Usami-chan. There's a new crepe shop we could stop by. Crepes? Yeah, I'm down. Let's do it. Where'd you go to middle school, Usami-chan? Oh, uh, you know, nowhere special. Kind of far away, though. Huh. Sorry, I have to ask. Usami-chan. Yeah? You and Goto-senpai, are you close? Goto? Nah, not really. Why? Well, he's awfully popular here at school. Seriously? That guy? Jeez. So that's how it is. I saw you two talking in the hall earlier. Yeah, uh... Don't worry. 
He's not my type. Just an acquaintance. I see. Hmm. <laughs> what is this? My heart is racing. I wish I could have talked to him more. He wasn't wearing our uniform, was he? Maybe he's from a different school. <sighs> you sure yawn a lot. Are you a night owl? Not really. It's just... I keep having strange dreams. They keep me up at night. What kind of dreams? It's hard to remember the details, but... Last night... I was surrounded by flames, like a burning city. This huge shadow started coming for me. And then I woke up. Uh... Jeez, that door was impossible to open. How old is this place? Gosh, Natsuna-chan. Don't break the door. I didn't! This school is so old, it still uses hanging lamps. You don't see that every day. Isn't your class next door, Natsuna-chan? Don't worry about it. I had to see your smiling faces. You know this girl? Yes, she's a good friend. The three of us have known each other since grade school. Natsuna-chan, this is Usami-chan. Last name, Kisaragi. And I'm Natsuno Minami. Nice to meet you. You guys are so lucky. I want to be in your class, too. You guys are so... I want to be in your... Our school's pretty old. They were working on a new building for this year. But I heard construction was delayed. I think we'll be moving to the new one next month. Sure hope so. This place is a dump. I heard it was built during the war. Whoa. That means it's over 40 years old. Minami-san, there you are. Busted. What are you doing in someone else's classroom? The teacher told you to prepare for the next class. Yeah, I know. Oh, right. You know that cat we were talking about? I saw it. Really? Where? Outside the science room. Minami-san. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. Kitty. It has black fur with a white belly, right? You've seen it too, Miwachan? All the time. Dang. No fair. I haven't seen it yet. So it's behind the science room, huh? That's it. I'm gonna go looking. Hmm. That nap did her some good. I don't see it anywhere. Where could it be? Amiguchi-kun, this isn't like you. Just listen, okay? This is a first for me, too. You feel it, right? <sighs> I want to pursue this with you. Please. 
I don't know. It's just... Huh? Fuyusaka-san? <laughs> what is she doing here? I... Uh, mm -hmm. I think as long as you love each other, it's okay. What? Don't mind me! Bye! Wait! There seems to have been a misunderstanding. <laughs> me and this guy? Dating? <laughs> That's rich. <laughs> Sorry for the confusion. We were just talking about something. Yeah, the strange dreams we've been having. Dreams? <laughs> Whenever I think about him, my heart starts racing. It's like love at first sight. If I said that, would he laugh at me? Every day, I have strange dreams. They keep me up at night. <sighs> so sleepy. So, you guys know each other? She sits in front of me in class. Yeah. How do you know her? We had class together in grade school, yeah? Uh-huh. Man, that was hilarious. Could have been the start of some wild rumors. Man, that would... So, what are these dreams? Well, lately... It's been a lot of crazy stuff. Different every time. I don't even think they're in chronological order. But they do seem related. Hmm. Weird thing is, same goes for this guy. It's like we're seeing the same stuff. The more he tells me, the more I think it all lines up. Makes you think our dreams are connected. Maybe we've just seen too many movies. I guess we do have that in common. We first met at that video rental joint, after all. Still, I can't help but think it's something else. Like, I don't know, telepathy? If not that, maybe it's a vision of the future. The future? I'm just saying, whenever we dream this stuff, we should compare notes. Hmm. I know it sounds crazy. Do you believe us? Well, actually, I'm more surprised to hear that's all it was. Because I thought... Hmm, class is starting. We can talk more later. Let's go, Fuyusaka-san.
Daimos. They're the Kaiju. That's them. They're trying to reach the mainframe in the depths below. That's why they attack every terminal that has a connection to it. If they manage to reach the mainframe, this city will be wiped out. But we can't stay on the defensive forever. With so few of us, we could never sustain it. Instead, we have to rely on the terminal's internal defenses, a specialized program. That puts up an impenetrable shield around the area. The D forces would be completely locked out. That's gotta be the Aegis system Ms. Morimura was talking about. But is it even safe to use? We're only using it to buy time. How do we activate it? Whichever one of you is closest, move to the D forces invasion point. Invasion point? You mean where the kaiju are all trying to get to? Yes. The terminal sits directly below that point. What do I do? Number 15, moving out. Can't mess this up. Number 13, moving out. You made it. That's where you send the signal to the terminal 300 meters underground. Either of your access IDs should be capable of activating it. And... that'll fix it? That's enough to get rid of all the kaiju? No. It won't be that simple. The defense systems have a long startup. We'll need to buy enough time for Aegis to initialize. Until it activates, our mission is to keep the D-forces away from the terminal. We'll try. Warning. Dymo signatures identified. Enemy in range. Preparing to intercept. Initiating tactical analysis. Activation confirmed. This area is now protected. Are your sentinels still operational? Mine's doing okay. I can still fight. Who's there? Are you fighting? You're in a sentinel. You're going to tell me who you are, now. I believe that's sentinel number 12, Okino's machine. I'm Takatoshi Hijiyama, and this is my sentinel. Takatoshi Hijiyama. You were with Okinokun before. I've come to save the human race. Leave this region to me. He cut off his comms. I found his Sentinel's location, but it's a ways from your position. He's not gonna try taking them all on by himself, is he? I'll move to rendezvous. You two should keep going towards the next combat zone. Oh, wait! Which way is the next zone? It's this way. Follow me. 